live. Couple of the day about to start in one second. What do we have today? Yesterday was a great track. I got top five on it, which I uh, really enjoyed. Today we have what? Penguin slide. Wait, it's an ice slide, uh, ice map. No, is that ice? Look, look like ice. Use Twitch Prime to sub to this beautiful man. Not a bad idea. I would uh, appreciate it. This is the first Ice Cup of the day I've played on the uh, new physics. I love you, my god, racer. So, I am curious how it handles. This guy's Sigma is... If it is Ice. Good luck. I actually cannot tell. Some parts look way too fast to be Ice and others look like they are Ice. No, it's plastic. That looked so much like plastic. Okay, smile. Thank you guys for the primes. Let's go in couple of day. I will not check the DPS. I will find the way. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's plastic. So no ice today, that's fine. You need a little bit more speed there. Oh, then you get the upper gear as well. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just gonna see the rest of the map. This was the full speed part with like a loop. Wet plastic. That's an interesting jump. I do like it. Maybe a risky finish up there? Or the scenery, I'm not sure. Oh no, the risky finish is... yeah. Got it. Okay, penguin slide. I'm not seeing a lot of penguins. But it has quite good flow, this map. On plastic, you want to be very, like, gentle with the searing everywhere. It should just be like... Your car should flow like water. It should just be effortless steering. It's like down here, just very smooth, gentle. If you ever see very sharp movements, those cost uh, time and speed. Oh, you need a lot of speed for that. Like that, that risky finish is tough. With how uh, wet plastic works. Trying to go for a sharper line to still get the downhill. Good. Inside line there. No air time. Oh, then I can go more through. Yeah. Oh, you don't need to drift that. It's actually this full speed. I got the risky finish, but lost a lot of time. Not sure if it uh, gained or not. Okay, this is a fun one. Now, this is a fun one. Sometimes with plastic maps, I'm like, oh, this is not my jam, but I really like, uh, yeah, just this one is uh, different. Couple of turns that makes it very interesting. I really like that you get rewarded here if you preserve speed too. And then this one was full speed. Still couldn't quite get it right. 
up early so you get low airtime here. And then a little bit higher. 49.3? They have 48.6. That is good. That is very good. I think it might just be something like this, though. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's get started. Your brother made this map? It's the one day you can't do a couple of days that is played? Oh, no. Well, you should tell him that, that we're proud of him. Alright, he made a quality map. It's unique. He did not... Fall into the meta to do what everyone else does. He did his own thing. Hmm. Is it here? And then, like, really far, but then a better line with a lot of speed here? A 28 speed ahead is a lot. Can you hold that advantage? I'm not sure. Point four I had. Forty-eight eight? Oh, do they have forty-eight zero? <laughs> okay. Wait, they are going way faster on this than I thought you would be able to. Use your prime subs. I did not think it's possible to get that fast here. I'm not sure how. Ooh, okay, wait, so yeah, that corner, if I set up slightly wider, I can full speed it. Uh, I did release and hesitate a bit in my personal best, and then I just need a lower airtime end. I guess just like full inside here. Yeah, full inside start. Do I have author time? No, I have gold. I don't know what the author time is. I don't have the plugin open. It is crazy to me that that is not a default feature, still. What is the, what is the harm of knowing the metal times? Just knowing what they are. Wild. Sliding there is faster? Confused? Why did my personal best gain speed when it jumped and slid? This guy's Sigma is good. Get bounce, that's fine. I'm not sure if I can get the vision one on this. I don't know where I'm losing the time. Okay, that was good. That was very good. That segment. Can you go, like, very low here? I feel that is bad. Yeah, you want to jump far. Okay, I, I can tell. And then if you reduce full airtime here, maybe you're better off. 
this guy's Sigma is dude. Got it. Hi everyone, less than three. Hello. Thank you for the resub. Five minutes to get it. I probably need a three tenth of a second improvement. Is is what I would guess the division one time ends up being forty eight five or so. That is very far, I don't think this is it. Just wanna test the end, cause... Here, plus five. Plus six. Plus four. Plus five still. My end wasn't even the b bad part. <laughs> okay. Dangerous. Maybe it's just more inside line? That didn't gain a lot. We can speed slide. Okay, 11. Yeah, there's something in the middle there that I'm not doing right. Wall bounce on water? Wait. Can you go much faster if you do that? Is that the trick that I'm missing? It might have been in the DPS, if that's intended. Because then you can take a much wider line. I don't feel that. I don't jam with that. I should just go normal here. But I generally think a wider line there is better anyways. So that's a takeaway. Two minutes to get this. I gotta hurry. Oh, okay. It's not even that much faster than I need. It's it's like I'll take a point four, 44 last minute. Good stuff. Amish, not. I missed my shot, dude. Thank you for the 1500 bits. I don't know what to say. Take my money. I love your videos. And you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very, very uh, generous of you. Thank you. Okay, we're in. So, that was a good run, right? Anyone in the class want to tell me where I lost half a second? Anyone want to tell me? Watch the DPS. I mean, I beat the author time. This is a 48-7, so it's not going to help. We can watch the world record, though. I'll do one more run. And the qualifier.
It's a bad landing. You can really risk here. It's probably just a risky run. That's what it feels like. But yeah, I'll, even a that's even 30th. I'd, I'd expect it to be higher. Why do you hate plastic? I don't hate it. Um, It's just something I don't play a lot. It's very slidey. Very slidey. Draggy, three years. Thank you so much for the resub. Okay, let's check it out. Eagles fan, thank you for the two months. Technician, Ukralinius, Red Honu, thank you. Cabo. God, this is an insane time. Oh, how? How does he do it? Okay, very inside line, very high up. That's a really good curve. Speed slide as he lands to get early gear up. Carries more speed there. Low here. Okay, that's something I wasn't doing. <laughs> okay. And then wall bang or? No. That's so strange, but... Wet plastic. He carries more speed that way. <laughs> I don't want to drive these lines, man. I don't want to drive the map like that. That's so scary. That's so risky. Can't there be a faster line that's faster? That's easier. Why does there have to be such a risky, fast way to play the map? So he went just down here. Does that make sense? Am I stupid for not seeing that? My brain thought re reduce airtime, but I was so wrong. Oh, I guess the, the point here is that like you steer less with wet wheels, so you carry more speed. your first plastic of the division 38 don't worry about it just have uh try to have fun cab burby thank you for the prime yeah elcon is not a casual uh you'll see him in tmdl in i'd say less than two years you'll see him in the top division if he keeps playing he's very very good Pretty insane. Prediction? Yeah, let's do a top 32 Gamba. I don't think people will crash a lot on this. You'll have stuff like this happen in rounds, but you won't really crash in, couple, in Division 1. People will... Yeah, it's going to be close rounds. Maybe they hit the outer wall here. Low? Too low. And then Elkhaman just like... Very low there. I'm scared. Of this couple of day. Mage, Masher, thank you for the 16 months and the good luck. Thank you. Can you confirm that pushing up arrow harder makes you go faster? I mean, it's been proven. Every racing game. And it's been proven not through like the results, but the feeling. Every, every gamer feels faster. Press up arrow harder. You lean a bit forwards, you tilt your hat in each turn. You are zoning. I didn't realize how much I did that until I started streaming. 
And then I see myself driving a normal turn like this. It's just instinct. You can see the corner better. But okay, I'm sure you guys, most of you know what couple of the day is, how it works by now, but for that one person or two or however many are watching for the first time, uh, the way this works is that I am now playing against the other players who qualified into Division 1, the top 64. We will play rounds on the map over and over again. And every round, the slowest four players get knocked out. So I don't need to win every round here, I just need to not be among the slowest four. And generally, if you don't crash, you are good to go in the first rounds. I think this is PB. It's close. Point six. Just don't lose. Wholesome explaining couple of it every time. It's like a YouTube intro. I don't know, man. It's like, it doesn't hurt. I think the worst thing you can do as a creator is um, make a unwelcoming space. Like someone will ask a dumb question and you, you dunk on them for asking a very dumb question as if they should know, then then you kind of limit people who can find your channel. Like if someone asked me, uh, is the gear shifting in Trackmania manual or does it happen automatically? And I'd go like, what an absolute moron, don't you know? Are you not a real Trackmania gamer? To even ask such a question, you absolute buffoon. Am I right, chat? Kek W, let's all laugh at him. Like, if you do if you do things like this, um then uh, then yeah, people people will probably not new people will probably not find your channel. <laughs> so just what it is. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I, I will not laugh at them, but I also hope chat will, will not laugh at you. You can change it to manual and options. Uh, it's automatic shifting. The only thing that's manual when it comes to shifting in uh, Trackmania is your position in the race. Which is why I will now manually shift from uh, 35th position to 29th on the shack point. Uh, and then I will change from 23rd here to 18th. And then I think I'm going to change from 17th here to about 12th. And yeah, 13th here. I'm gonna go for about top 10 here on the finish. 15. <laughs> can you stay in a specific gear? Yes, you can. If you want to, you can. Have I ever driven with a wheel? Uh, I drive with four wheels. I think that's the most optimal design for a car. But I think one wheel would be challenging. <laughs> I have not driven with a wheel. I want to try it though. I would like to make a comparison between the cheapest steering wheel on the market 
and like the most expensive eye racing diva steering wheel like your force feedback hand warmer like you know type of steering wheel that serves you a milkshake mid-race just like your the top of the top of the market and to see like if it makes a difference Nine hundred degree steering. Ooh. Ooh. Was close to the corner. Four Cam three Trackmania in VR sounds uh, nauseating. Hope Switch has gyro controls. Is that the one where like if the if the car does a loop, you do a loop too? That was a sweet SD. Thank you, Beastie. Why are you breaking the first jump? Makes your car lift. It's more important that your front wheels get uh, grip there in the downhill. Like, sometimes in this game, a landing can look really smooth, but a bumpy landing can still be faster. There's a trick called the meme bounce. Which, um... Is precisely that. Really unsmooth looking landing, but still fast. Which you can do if you get a situation like this. This is a bad jump. Some kind of force to take a very low speed line. Oh, point two. I'm improving. Mean bounce is more time spent touching the ground, but also this is another thing. I don't know if it applies to plastic. But at least for grass and dirt, it is that you speed slide only on your front wheels. Um, and speed sliding on only the front wheels is faster than speed sliding all four wheels. Speed sliding on one wheel is fastest. Like, it's the fastest uh, speed slide you could ever do. If you have one wheel touching the ground. I'm assuming it applies to plastic too. You can get almost a 47 with the start. I have 48.1. Damn, Elcon and Scrappy ahead. Get around. Is wiggle still important after the update? Not so much. Like, I mean, on grass and dirt it is, but um, on ice it's not really. Okay, good progress so far with this cup. I've already improved my personal best by like three tenths. That's a bad start. Because at this point, I got airtime.
Ooh, this is a good jump. Very good jump. I can catch like 10 people probably. To the end. Yeah, I had a very good end here. I went from 27th to 11th. Played your first ever cup, is 23 Division 23 good? There's like... Usually 50 divisions, so you're already beating half the field. So that's very good. Oh, Alcon's out! Alright. That can happen. I might be out, because oh, that's such a bad place to crash. Okay, there's one person. No, the gears. I'm gonna lose more time. Oh, no. Maybe if someone like misses the jump. Still 34th. Still 34th. Still 34th. Oh, that's, that's a good meme. 34th. Okay. All right. I was thinking about it. Like, the one place you don't want to crash on this map is before the drop down. Uh, should have had this. Really should have had a better score than this. But alas. But alas. I just risked it a little bit much in the start. That's my bad. Okay, let's see how the people do today. Oh! That was a big crash by Travis. But like, really, that's the one mistake this round. <laughs> Is that his horn? He has like a... Uh plastic duck horn <laughs> a rubber duck squeaky toy damn <laughs> his name is duck in german ah, i see Thoughts on the map? Cool. I liked it. Um, yeah, no, I liked it. I think the last part could be a bit smoother. Like, you just make it so that there's no airtime at all. Uh, but apart from that, it's a really good map. Oh, yeah. That, that he instantly DNF'd. <laughs> I respect it. I actually respect it. We like to say never give up, but there are crashes like that where you just... <laughs> where it's better to DNF. Instead of like... You know, crawling to the finish like a wounded animal. Sometimes you should give up. I'm fine with that. Oh, very close round here though. Mimo Jr. needs a speed slide. Oh wait, he's in. He's still in. You just did that? Fair, fair, fair. Well, watch uh, the end of the couple of the day, guys. And then we're gonna play Deep Fear. The, uh, the hardest TMNF full speed map. Before the cup, I made uh, really good progress. Like, I got all the way to here. So, we're gonna continue that run when, when we get back. Uh, I'm a bit scared to start so far into a speedrun, but... <laughs> you know... Uh, hopefully I can uh, pick up where I left. Oh, that was a big crash. DNF? Doesn't DNF, okay. You should really restart TMNF. 
I trust the game. The game would never betray me. Not like this. Not quite. <laughs> Going for sub 10 minutes? No, I want sub one hour. Sub one hour would be cool. You just came back and you're 190,000 channel points. Yeah, I might have failed. <laughs> I might have failed. It happens, all right? Someone crashed. Ooh, a lot of crashes this round. One more. Actually, an opportunity. For Wheelox, just needs to catch one more person. In the end. Needs someone to fail here, I think. The risky finish. <gasps> and it happened? He's in? Okay. Captain Trousel, thank you for the prime. R thank you as well for the five months. But Bemo, thank you for the two months. Wildly normal. Captain Cobalt, thank you. Uh Sea Biscuit as well, thank you for the 15 months. Um also a domino from Wes Leslie. Since we're allowed to ask stupid questions, how do bankruptcy attorneys make any money? Why do they say giving my two cents when it's only a penny for your thoughts? Is it possible to blow up a balloon while you're underwater? Well, these are great questions. I have the answer to none of them. If you are underwater and you bring with you a balloon and you inhale the balloon underwater, can you then stay underwater for longer? Or will the balloon pop when you try to get it underwater? <laughs> Cause if you if you breathe your own air into the balloon, it will be CO2, right? So you'd have to fill it with oxygen. With like a pump. I'm asking if you breathe into it. Or are you just like carbon dioxide poisoning yourself? Because if not, why don't divers just breathe into a balloon? Inhale the balloon. <laughs> and breathe into the balloon again. Infinite diving. If you can do that, how many times does it work? <laughs> About three times you've tested. <laughs> okay. All right, we have, we, people have already conducted this experiment. It's like drinking your own pee. Alright, I've never tried that either. Please touch grass. Oh. Oh, this is a nice car skin. I like the pattern. What are you drinking? Ah, uh, just water. Big mistake. Can I get a shout out, please? What do you think a shout out's gonna do, though?
like, if we're if we're thinking about this logically, if I say your username out loud, what's gonna happen? I mean, you're gonna be that's gonna be cool, but that's about it. Dopamine hit. Fair. You love water out the can? <laughs> I said this uh, earlier. I don't want to. I'll show you after the round. Top nine. Did you break something there? So on my water cans, I always like breaking off the, the top of the water can. You know, there are these things. But I don't like drinking from the can when, when this thing is still attached, so I break them off before drinking on the water can. <laughs> it's, it's just the way I, I consume water. Very close, Murray, with the speed slide and the snipe. Good, I was gonna show. Um, Mudgy got me this, which is a uh, fridge. It's supposed to be a mini fridge, but if you look at it, it's the size of this drawer. So it's it's actually like a huge fridge for water. You just wanted me to notice for you? I notice you, Mo Place. Shout out to Mo Place the Goat. There you go. There you go, that's the shout out. Playing another IRL week? Yeah, I think so. I'm not entirely sure exactly what we'll do in IRL week, but we will do an IRL week. Murray out now though. 43 the knockout time. They've gotten a lot faster. Top six. Let's watch Scrappy. He won yesterday. On the road to 100 wins. Can you get there? Mean bounce? I like it. Good line there too. Ooh, yeah. That's clean. I might crashed, I think. Straight up. And he was one of the fastest players left. That's very clean from Enix. Okay. No, this is gonna be exciting. How many couple of day wins do I have? I have nine. Which isn't even that bad. There's uh there's only around 20 players who have won more times. But it just like it scales really hard. It's like, you know, you know how. Pareto distributions work where like 20% of the group will make up 80% of the results kind of thing so like 20% of the players will have 80% of the couple of day ones right um so scrappy has 75 <laughs> granati has like 50 and then alcon is third with 30 wins around roundabout uh, and then it goes like, you know, 25, 20, 19, 18, 18, 17, 15, 15, 14, 14. And then it goes like 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, and just get a lot more near the bottom. Oh, what a speed slide. Wheelox's end looks really good. Everyone on a 48 flat. You thought down have more? 
He has a lot of wins in uh, reruns. Not that many in normal ones. I think he's at 10. But top four, let's follow. These guys are super close in pace. Any like small line mistake here and you're out. Lelog's going wide. Oh, not getting the drop down right. That could be the mistake that sends you out. Unless someone else blunders here. And X went for the wide line, which isn't fast. And he will lose a little bit. Still three tenths to gain. Wheelox needs to jump off his life right now. Oh, that's good though. That is good though. He's getting close. He had a good end last time. He's getting very close. The speed slide. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, he sniped it away. Unreal comeback. He actually took it. Scrappy had less speed, so he clipped the block more. That's a sick end. Sick end to uh, basically avoid clipping it at all. Dude, Wheelox has the pace to obliterate them here if he doesn't fail to start. And he drives like that. Like, he can do 47-7. Bounces a bit again, though. Mm. <laughs> X very close. But that wide line ba basically loses the time he gained with the risk. Still about a tenth. Okay, Wheelox needs to jump of his life again. Ah, that's, that's good, that's good. Good speed. Oh, he has even faster now than last time. Very much on the inside. Can you reduce the air time? Oh, he does. Speed slide. Not gonna hold. It was that little bump in the start. Enix versus Lingo. I don't know if Enix has won before. Unless it's a name change. I don't think he has. Lingo's won a few. Good luck to both. Enix is Enix. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it is a name change. He is very good. Anix is very good. Up the hill, around the corner. Anix with the lead. Now going wide though, and you can see Lingo overtaking here. But he will come back with a tiny bit more speed. Is it faster? I don't know, he's going for it. He believes in it. Lingo going wide, getting a better setup here. More speed before the big jump. But the line is everything. The higher you go early, the better. And Enix did have that set up. Last checkpoint, they're just about even. It's going to come down to the speed slide in the end. Lingo going low. But Enix gets no air time. The snipe. Huge comeback to take it. GG's. That was really nice. That was really, really nice. Whew. That's that's a clean clutch.